Hello everybody, we gotta feed this little baby bird. Um, it's Friday, baby bird Friday of course, so if he's gonna snuggle up here against me. Uh, I'm gonna pour this hot water over into this other cup because that hot water has heated this cup and that will keep the formula warmer longer. And we use the Higgins Tropicana, there are links to everything down in the description. Be sure you check those out. I'll, I'll close that up later. Just use this little transfer pipette to squirt some water over here. And we can swirl it around to mix it, or we can use the pipette itself to mix it. Hopefully, later in the summer, we're going to have lots and lots of baby birds. Uh, and so I'll be mixing up, you know, half a gallon of this stuff at a time. But for now, it's just little bitty bits and pieces. Here's our little cockatiel, the star of today's show. He is a white face mutation, gonna be gray, just as beautiful as you can imagine. Come on, sweet pea, here. here. Now, you can see I'm not, let me make that just a little bit thinner. There we go, that'll work. I am not shoving this down his throat. He's, he's doing it on his own. His esophagus is on, well, it's on his right side of the body. That goes down into the crop, which is that bag there that holds the food. The trachea, his windpipe, is on the left-hand side of the body. And you don't ever want to get any food down his windpipe. Oh, where are you going? Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Well, we have lots of eggs in the cockatoo nest boxes. We have pairs of Indian ringnecks with eggs. As soon as I get through feeding this, I'm going to take you out to the aviaries and show you some of our other birds that have eggs. Y'all make sure you're subscribed. Uh, you know, like only 10% of all my viewers, of the people who watch these shows, are actually subscribed according to YouTube's analytics. You want a little bit more? Yeah, you're spitting it all up. I think you're through, darling. I think you're through. Look at that. That crop under there is just packed full. So isn't, isn't he sweet? He's getting all his feathers. I was asked last week, how old is a baby cockatiel when they actually start to get their feathers? Well, about three weeks, three to four weeks old. And that's about where he is now. So next week when you see him friday he's going to have even more feathers his hopefully his head will be covered up in feathers he's going to be moving to a cage soon and learning to eat pellets and and broccoli and collard greens and millet sprays and all good good foods like that but we just love our little birds here after i show you the eggs down in the aviary uh there's a little special, like a minute and a half, little video. If you live local here to Pell City, we have some animals that need a home. So watch that little bit. And then after that, I think my mama's going to sing to us. I appreciate everybody that's been praying for her. She is very, very sick. Um, on this video that I'm going to show you, I recorded that yesterday. She doesn't look very sick, but she uh, has stage four small cell carcinoma in all of her lymph nodes uh, probably doesn't have a lot longer with us but god's in control and she's ready she she has served the lord all her life so let's go see what those all those little eggs are down in the aviary okay guys i can't believe it there was a buster silver crested cockatoo egg that's the daddy there there's the mother. Hey, baby. Her name is Baby. I didn't name her. Another goes to Dad. Let me leave him alone. I have a, it's just a 12 by 24 boot box. I hung it here to cover the hole, but this pair of military macaws are squeezing in here. What y'all got in there? Huh? Look at them both. I hope they have an egg in there. I hope. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone now. 
here's a pair of green wing macaws. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. How many eggs you got? You got any babies in there? What's going on? What's going on, mama? I don't see anything. Funny thing about this box is it has two doors on it. But I can't get this one up. No, you stay in there. Uh. Oh, that one hasn't been open in a while. Well, I don't see any eggs. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, pretty mama. Hey, pretty mama. Hey, hey. Hey. You're gorgeous. You're the pretty one. Are you the pretty one? Huh? Ow! Ow! Gentle! Okay, I'm going to close it back. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. We need to check Fred and Max's nest box. These are our umbrella cockatoos. Oh, there he is. Stay in there. Do not come out. Move. Move. Here's another pair of macaws. Let's see what's going on in here. Hey, y'all. You got anything? Huh? Nothing? Nada? Zip zero? Zilch? Okay. Here's Pecker. Y'all remember Pecker? Can you imagine how he got his name? Hey, Pecker. He's our Lady Amherst servant. The male. And back there, that's Moose and Charlie. They were the ones that were inside. Okay, bye, Pecker. We live in a rural area. We actually live on a dead-end street behind a church. And so we get strays that come up. And so we end up with kittens <laughs> quite often, unfortunately. But they're beautiful and they're sweet. These are four weeks old. They've been at my mama's house. So that, that's why I haven't videoed them yet. But they're four weeks old. They're, they're out walking about today just, just to play a little bit for us to take some pictures. They're going to need a home in a couple of weeks, so if you're local to the Pell City area and you need a kitten, then just let me know. Um, you know, we might give them their first warmer, but they're going to need to see a vet. They're going to need to be be spayed or neutered, that, all that good fun stuff, and that's going to be your responsibility if you want one. But, you know, they're going to be free to a home, good home. Uh, a good home. Catherine says, I can't feed them to the snakes, so neither no. can you. That little calico one is just adorable. Cat, there's a tortoise shelled one here that Catherine is... is we are not getting any way of this one. Well, we're not getting rid of any of them. They're not garbage to throw away. We're going to find homes for all of them. Uh-oh, you're falling. Don't you're falling. Fall. There's the mama. Just as... Uh, <laughs> As soon as her milk dries up a little bit, she's going to be spayed. They're going to jump out. They're going to jump. They're not going to jump. <laughs> but if you need a, a, a little kitten, then just let us know. How in the world can you doubt it when you can't see it shine? When you get salvation, all that courage you can feel. You don't have to have nobody to tell you that it's free. Some people don't believe in Jesus, they say he's all a fake. He's just as real to me, boy, as he can keep on steak. He's sweet and any honey, any he could make. With a good old sugar molasses and a great big chocolate cake. Well, you can't see electricity, you're moving on the line. How in the world can you doubt it when you can't? When you get salvation on that courage, you don't have to have nobody to tell you that he's real. People don't believe in Jesus, they say he's all a fake. He's just as real to me, boy, as he can keep on steak. He's sweeter than any honey that any bee could make. With a good old silver molasses and a great big chocolate cake. That was my
my grandpa's song. I've never heard that before. Never really? ever. Don't remember. There's more it. to it, but I can't remember it all. Should write it down, I suppose. It's probably in some of Mama's songs in there. You need to write it down. It's called Electricity. Sweet and honey, that any bee could make with a good old shoe of asses and a great big chocolate cake. We like Jesus.